congressman accuses Friedman of allegiance to a foreign power over support of Israel's Talib ban. Now, I believe in a sense here that nobody is saying anything to these women because of the race issue. Um, if you're quote unquote light skin, right? You're white skin. You can't say anything to people of color. It's um, it's a way to shut down the argument. And I believe Republicans need to get over that. They need to get over that hump and be able to speak to what the issue is. And I, I see a lot of Republicans not speaking up the way I believe they should be. What do you think about that? Well, you're, you're raising an interesting point, and, I, and I've got two responses. Mm -hmm. Number one, I think it's really important that people remember, if you call everybody a racist all the time, or a bigot, or a whatever, eventually that term loses its significance, right? So this white privilege movement that, you know, all these white people that are famous in Hollywood are coming out and saying, I'm humiliated because I'm white. I'm so sorry because I'm white. First of all, it's, it's stupid and they sound crazy. And more importantly for their audience, they're disenfranchising and driving away people that otherwise might listen to them. Mm -hmm. Because most Americans are not that dumb. Most Americans are natively quite smart as a, as just a general understanding. So that's the important thing at, at the first to remember. And, and the second thing that ought to really be happening is just to talk about the facts. Here's a fact that for some reason, I can't figure out why it's not headlines. Well, actually I can because it doesn't fit the narrative. But this is gonna come as news to your viewers. The congressional trips which just concluded a few days ago uh, into Israel for the all the Republican and Democrat members that were um, invited, which included the two girlfriends that you just talked about, <laughs> they, they declined, um, was a fact-finding trip meeting with military, government, NGOs, people on the ground, uh, being flown all over the country. Because until you've done that, you really don't know the country. Rashida Tlaib's never been there, and I've been there way more than her, obviously. What people don't know is going to shock them, what I'm going to say right now. The ladies, I use that term in quotes, <laughs> that were just about to visit Israel and didn't go, had their entire trip and the itinerary and the payment set up by a terror organization. That terror organization that still exists is called MIFTA. And let me read you some of the anti-Semitism that MIFTA has put out. Now, this isn't me making this up. I'm going to tell you when the quote starts, okay? When President Obama, a very liberal progressive Democrat, I think we would all agree, was about to go to Israel, this is the quote they put out. Does Obama, in fact, know the relationship between Passover and Christian blood? or of Passover and the Jewish blood ritual. Much of the chatter and gossip about historical Jewish blood rituals in Europe are real and not fake as they claim. The Jews use the blood of Christians in the Passover Seder. What? <laughs> okay, it gets worse. Several years later in 2013, a MIFTA a staffer posted this article on their site, on the official MIFTA website, criticizing Barack Obama for having a Passover Seder in the White House. Now, for Christians, they know that the Passover Seder was the Last Supper of Jesus, and Jews are still celebrating Passover 3,000 years after they escaped slavery in Egypt. It's maybe one of the longest celebrated holidays on planet Earth. This article says that Obama should be criticized because Jews kill non-Jewish children and drain their blood during Passover. 
I know it sounds like a Dracula movie or some really bad plot that doesn't even make the theaters, you know, the kind that you goes right to rental on your oh, oh, yeah. for a dollar ninety-nine. This is what these people said. Jermaine, they were the sponsors of Rashida Tlaib's trip. That's what they publish. They are so insane that most people just think it's crazy. In other words, they accuse President Obama of supporting it and the Israelis of supporting it. And, and they are bringing Rashida Tlaib to Israel. Can you imagine how balanced that trip would have been? Can you imagine the amount of propaganda they would have poured on her? So these are the things that need to be talked about. These are the things that you and I and your viewers need to get out into the news because this is the news. In other words, you don't have to tell somebody that Jews aren't sacrificing Christians and draining their blood to make matzah. Just report the facts and let the viewers decide, and that's what's missing in the narrative. You don't have to call Talib insane. Just read the news, and the news speaks for itself, and your viewers will make their own decisions. But unfortunately, the news media doesn't even print the story that I just told you. So I encourage your viewers to go Google MIFTA, M-I-F-T-A-H, and read about the horrible, horrible things they say and how they support Rashida Tlaib.